According to the CEO, SILAG is reforming, adding that the training products and services for public service will change so to be on par with the government's policies. Mr. Barobe further elaborated on the changes expected. The training products and services that we have for public service are also changing. We are reforming. We are doing auditing to our courses, current courses, to see they must be in par with the current government policies so that our people must be trained to implement those policies. Mr. Barobe then announced the formation of what he described to be a very unique course that is offered at the institution where a total of 20 departmental ads are currently participating in, with the aim to enable competency in improving departmental performance. Barobe further emphasized on some of the changes in other courses. Simply giving competency to the head of departments to perform well at the various departments where they are. And we also have realigned our courses here from Certificate 2, which is used to be called an induction program, then to a Certificate 3 called a Graduate Development Program, then to a uh, middle level Certificate 4 in government, what used to be a, a Certificate in Middle Management. Then we have got diploma programs and advanced diploma programs. Mr. Barobe announced that the institute wants to have a degree program where by 2027 and beyond, this SILAG will become a university for public service as per the MTDP4. Sharon Ngnui, National MTV News.